right, we back. Thank y'all for watching the video, subscribing to the channel, hitting that like button, and got to hit the like button for this video over. Go ahead and do it. If you know, if you ain't going to feel like doing it at the end, go ahead and do it now. Hit that like button. And appreciate y'all for subscribing, commenting at the bottom. It's your boy, PBK Nice, giving you that dog news. That we always do fair and unbiased, fair and unbiased. Got a special edition for you today. You know, got a special edition for you today. I got to talk to my subscribers, you know. Got an APB out on some of my, my subscribers. Got an APB out on some of my subscribers. So tune in. You know, when it comes to creating breeds and when every breed got created, you know, every breed has its health issues, you know. So when they started the breeds, whatever particular breed that is, you know, the, the, the creators of that breed, you know, pretty much figured out what the health issues was. If it wasn't at the beginning, it was over, you know, a few years or so, you know. But pretty much every breed has different health issues. And you know, like the German Shepherds, you know, have the hip dysplasia along with other breeds that have it. But, you know, a lot of heavy dogs have that sometimes, you know, that a lot of weight is bearing down on the dog hips and stuff like that. But I say that to say this, you know, all dogs and dog breeders, you know, pretty much know the health issues that deal with their breed. But there's a couple breeds out there that nobody has any clue about or, you know, they're clueless to this point and they're still up in testing, test mode. All right, before I get deep off of that, once again, shout out to all my subscribers, you know what I'm saying, and all the people that's rocking with me. Shout out to Jail Tech TV, my folk Ken side up there in PA. Shout out to my boy Star, Ghost of the Bully Son, Trey Neal, and all the other people that's rocking with your boy, PBK Nines. But we got to figure some more stuff out. We got to figure some more stuff out. And I kind of figured it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting y'all on something now. I'm putting y'all on something. They found a restaurant. They found a restaurant that had frozen dog legs in the freezer. Frozen dog legs in the freezer here in the United States. I don't know if y'all seen it on YouTube yet or what. Frozen dog legs about this long. About this long, about this, about like that. And some of them in quarters. They say it was quarters and front legs and back legs. So watch the YouTube or whatever. You'll see it up on YouTube in a minute or the next few days or so if you don't see it yet. So now that we know there's a restaurant here in the U.S. that's serving dog legs, you know, chopped dog legs. What do you like? The necks or the backs? Back, please. Well, don't you like necks? Yeah, but I'm afraid to swallow a bone because I grew up with a chicken neck. <laughs> Who told you that? Your dad. That answers for this right here. These dogs are missing their legs. <laughs> no. Well, it's true. It is true, see? <laughs> I had a cousin, Big Sonny Jim Hayward. And he always eat chickens. And he eat the chicken neck. And he grew up with a chicken neck. Funny little neck, he couldn't even get a collar to fit him. And one night, him and his wife had an argument. And she almost choked him to death 
with one hand. <laughs> Hold on. Now let's go back to what I just said earlier. Now where these dog legs at? Man, I love everybody who got the pocket pits or whatever, but I don't know what they call this. This ain't pocket, cause I got the breed standards on the pocket pit. This ain't pocket right here. Now, health wise, yo, they can't have no um, statistics or whatever it is on health wise. There's no way this much leg can be healthy holding up that much body. <laughs> There's no way this much leg can be healthy holding up that much body. Some of them dogs might weigh upward towards 100 pounds. 50, 60, 70 pounds with this much leg. Them dogs can't breathe. They got to be having breathing problems. They got to have reproduction problems. And they got to have, like, all other kind of problems. I like, I looked at the uh, French Bulldog, and I see, look at these French Bulldogs in this video. They got leg up on them. The French Bulldogs got leg. Now, check the English Bulldog out. Now, the English Bulldog got leg up on them. They got leg. Now, what did they breed these dogs with to, to make their legs this long? No disrespect to none of the pocket pits or whatever you call them kind. You know, because I know they make it top dollar. But right now, we just talking about health-wise. Health-wise and enjoying your pit for at least more than two years. Because the lifespan on this right here got to be about five years max. I ain't gonna lie, only problem I have, only problem I have with one of them, if I had one, would be I walk too fast. You know what I'm saying? When I walk, I walk too fast for one of them kind of dogs. They wouldn't even be able to keep up with me. I'd be getting mad because they, they always behind me, always behind me. Just my natural walking speed is is faster than they'd be able to keep up. You know what I'm saying? I take and I take I'm tall, so I'm gonna take longer strides. Oh no, but no, but check this out now. Check this out now. Now check this out now. See, this is the deal. We all doing this, doing that, doing this. I don't know how many of y'all really pay attention to the news or whatever, or what's going on around the world. But when you look at YouTube, everybody doing this, everybody doing this, everybody doing that, everybody doing this across the country. But if that war pop off, <laughs> boy, some, some real stuff going down. That will pop off some real stuff going down. And I got a couple questions for y'all real quick. All right, first thing. Just imagine if all right, boots from another country landed on this soil. Boots from another country landed on this soil. All right, first thing I'm asking y'all, do a little advertising right now too. What, out of all them dogs y'all got, all them bad, bad pit bulls, which one I'm gonna save y'all? Which one I'm gonna save you? If boots touch the ground and you gotta, you know how it gotta go down. It gotta go down. So you better get your Belgian Malawa. Better come get your Belgian Malawa, you know, and just keep one on the side. At least one, have you one in the yard. You know what I'm saying? At least one. But being serious about it, on a serious note about it. You know what I'm saying? And I know y'all gonna agree with me probably with this. If something like that did happen, That'll be the only time, you know, when the Lord works in mysterious ways and a lot of things is already written. If something like that did happen, that'd be one of the only times you in this country in America see every single person getting along or at least trying to get along, working together for one goal. You know what I'm saying? Maybe except the child predators and people like that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna be working together. Blacks, the whites, the Mexicans, the gays, the straights, the gangs, the bloods, the cribs, the G's, the D's, the everybody. Everybody gonna be working together. You know what I'm saying? If it came down to that point. You know? So why you why your back gotta be on, against the wall? You know? That ain't nothing none of us can answer, really. You know, it is what it is. We all stuck up in this, you know, at the same time. But, you know, that's just something to wonder. 
why our back gotta be up against the wall like that in order for us to just get along. You know what I'm saying? If them folk come over here, we can't understand them all. I bet you we won't be beefing with each other or trying to kill each other off then. You know what I'm saying? Or worrying about each other's complexion then. But we gotta, we gotta be pushed to that limit in order to even get to that point. You know what I'm saying? It's sad, but hey, pay attention to the news because you might think what I'm saying is far-fetched, but it might not be far as you think because if, 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 if that invasion go down, some nukes gonna start flying and some real stuff gonna start going down and it is what it is. But y'all stay safe out there, man. Keep dogging it, keep dogging it. If you got them working line dogs, them Belgian model wives, Dutch Shepherds or German Shepherds, keep doing your thing. If you're keeping them as a pet, keep doing your thing. If you're bulldogging it, bully dogging it, pocket pitting it, uh, American excelling it, uh, re regular sizing it, however you doing it, keep doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? GB, what them puppies about to drop? You got a couple more weeks. I ain't precise what it is, but I know you got maybe about a, maybe about a week. Maybe, not even a couple, just about a week, I think. GB got no puppies about to drop. Home and the nanny dog puppies about to drop. Shout out to all my folk out there. Staying positive, doing what they got to do. You know what I'm saying? Pelican Bay K9s, I'm up out of here.